having a discreet form of protection for yourself and for your loved ones on a daily basis something that's very portable very easy to have on you is extremely important even more now than ever mentioned uh, there are a few other options and before we jump into why i chose the ice dagger i do want to just start off with the importance of having a self-defense tool and why i think you guys should have some sort of self-defense tool even if it isn't the ice dagger in particular now there are many different options i have actually have a few. Another notable option is the Matriarch by Spyderco. The Matriarch by Spyderco is another great option for a self-defense tool, but overall you should try to have at all times some type of tool on you for self-defense because an attack can happen at any time and it's nice to give yourself an advantage of having even just a small little knife like these. Now I've talked about why I choose knives in the past. I still f fully love uh, knives and I take a knife over a gun every day because of the fact that guns, while they are superior to knives in most instances, a gun cannot go everywhere like one of these knives can. So that's the overall importance and why I just urge you guys, make sure you do have a self-defense tool, even if it isn't the ice dagger, go with something like a spider co matriarch, just something that you can use to protect yourself. Now, now let's actually talk about why I chose the ice dagger. Now this has been out for a hot minute. This is not the newest, coolest, latest, greatest kind of self-defense knife out there on the market but I was immediately attracted to this knife just for the fact that I wanted something that was very tough, very durable, and honestly, whereas a lot of people prefer something that just has a single blade on it, I really do like the dagger for enhanced penetration and the fact that I can not only cut with this knife, but I can also make a deep stabbing and penetrating wound with this knife. And so that's what it was attractive to the ice dagger. Another reason why I prefer the ice dagger over something like a matriarch is like I said, the increased durability. And I'm doing some up close shots, pictures, roll in footage, so you guys can see this. But the ice dagger actually has a reinforced tip. So the tip, uh, the actual like tip part of this knife from about here forward uh, is full thickness and it actually re-tapers down to a point and to an edge. So what I like about this is there's no worry about you going in, stabbing something in the tip, just snapping off on you. This is the type of knife that you can stab into a very hard object or even hit things like bone and it's not just gonna break off. Whereas a knife like this Matriarch, which I'll also roll in some pictures for you guys, is very thin, extraordinarily thin at the tip and will actually break off very easily if it hits bone if it hits uh, thick muscle it's gonna just snap right off which may be an advantage it may not but what I like about this knife is for multiple aggressors or just even for one uh, like I said having a very robust tip and a very robust overall build is nice now another thing I have enjoyed about the knife as I've carried it and as you guys can see I've hard used it a little bit for y'all is I like the traction on the G10. Uh, Tops did an excellent job on that, especially in the ice pick or reverse grip. I didn't feel like my hand was gonna go anywhere. I will say it can be a little bit slick in gloves uh, when you're doing like forward thrust, but then again, your thrusts and your anything going forward like this motion kind of thing isn't gonna have as much power as a reverse grip. And what I like about the reverse grip too, as you guys can see, there's a nice uh, almost karambit-esque ring so you can loop your thumb into this ring and then uh, close your thumb down like this and that gives you a lot of positive traction so if you stab it into something when you pull the knife back out you could actually let go of the knife entirely and pull just because your thumb is caught on that ring it's gonna pull right back out of whatever it's stabbed into so other than that, they have made a few really great cuts in the G10 to make it very aggressive and it feels really great. Now lastly, the 
other reason why I like this knife is, as I said, about the concealability. Now, you can run this on your belt, and that's another great way of running it. I personally use the neck knife option, and we'll discuss the mod that I had to make with it because you guys will notice the sheath is a little bit different looking, but it, we'll discuss that in just a minute. But overall, with the fact that this has very flat and thin G10 handles and the knife itself, while it's thick enough not to be weak, it's also not a very thick knife in general. So it sits very, very thinly, even when it's pressed up against your body. And there's no profiling at all with this knife because of the way it's designed and how flat the sheath is, how flat the handles are. There's no profiling. And when it does sit under, especially something like a coat like this, you're gonna have no issues whatsoever. Okay, moving on to the last part of this is the modification. Now I'm gonna roll in a couple pictures of the mod I did. And I've actually had to do this with a few Topps knives. While I do love Topps Kydex, I will say their molds can at times be a little bit weak as far as retention goes. And I did find that this one found out the hard way that I was actually running up a flight of stairs and boop, the knife popped out and hit the ground. I was like, never again on that because uh, this is the type of knife that you don't really want the public to see because when they see both of these edges and they kind of see the overall profile, it's a little scary. So what I did was I just took a couple brass screws. I took, put the sheath on my drill press, punched a couple holes uh, just at two areas uh, where the I could get some extra clamping power uh, from the brass screws. Like I said, I've done this before on other Topps knives. It's really simple and it's so simple. You don't even need nuts on the back because the uh, brass screws thread through the Kydex. So they're gonna hold up just fine. I wanted to make sure that the retention wasn't too loose or too hard. I wanted it to hit that sweet spot because when I got it, it was just a little bit too loose. Now it's right in that sweet spot where it's not so loose that it's gonna fall out under normal circumstances or slightly strenuous circumstances, but at the same time, it's gonna have a nice pull and it's gonna be pretty easy to get out without having a wrench on your neck. So anyways, that's all for the, uh, <clears throat> that's kind of my overview and general thoughts of the Ice Dagger. It is a really awesome knife, and if you're looking for a really competent and heavy duty self-defense option as far as knives go, I would very, very much encourage you to take a look, at least take a look at the Ice Dagger, because like I said, I think it's a very smart design. Anyways, I'm out.